Now here I'm showing you a solenoid, which is basically 100 tons of a copper wire. Now you can find solenoid in a lot of electric circuits. For example, in this battery charger that I've taken apart, you can see a number of solenoid per charger. And the function of this solenoid basically is to transform voltages so that an alternating current driving one part of the solenoid on one side of a transformer would be producing an inductive voltage on the other side. And the voltage is produced is proportional to the number of turns you have in the solenoid. Now next we're going to show you how we can turn kinetic energy back into electrical energy. What I'm having here is basically a motor that I can make it to turn at a particular speed by changing the voltage that is driving the motor. Now the motor turns a crank and drive a rare earth magnet that's inside the tube and here we have four solenoids that are connected in series. What we have here is that as the magnet go inside one of the solenoid, it will create when it enters a positive pulse and when it departs a negative pulse and then it will move the it will continue on to the next solenoid and therefore generating another pulse afterwards. Now because the rotation of the motor create a sinusoidal displacement uh, slower on the outside and of a higher and uh, faster on the inside and slower on the other side. Basically you will find that the voltage induced is smaller on the first solenoid, bigger on the second solenoid, same amplitude on the third solenoid as the second solenoid and then become much smaller on the fourth solenoid. So we're going to see that and we just by connecting the and then we're going to turn on the motor. Now, each of the square on the oscilloscope is one quarter of a second. And you would see that basically as the magnet go through this four solenoid, it would create four pulses. A positive amplitude as it enters and a negative amplitude as it departs. You can also notice that the four pulses uh, have different amplitude of a smaller amplitude on the outside and the center two pulses has a higher amplitude because the speed of the magnet going through that is of a higher speed in the center. So next what we're going to do is to turn up the voltage of the motor. Right now it's driving the motor at 6.6 .6 volt. So if we turn it all the way to say 10 volt and you basically can hear that the motor is because of the higher voltage is cranking at a higher speed. And if you look into the same uh, trace on the oscilloscope, what you see basically the amplitude, which shows the induced voltage, is now much larger than the earlier time when the voltage was only 6.5 volt. Now it's 10 volt. So in that regard, you will have the amplitude actually is increased to 10, uh, is proportional to 10 volt, which is much higher.